Hello, my awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading messages from your person. What does your person want to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number three. And power of number six. Okay, so looks like we are going to the number 18. Some of you Tauruses are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Some of you are 31 36, 38, or 39 years of age. You could have been born in 1961, 1963, 1968, or 1969. You could have been born in 1991, 1993, 1996, or possibly 1998 for some of you. Or you could have graduated in 1991, 1993, 1996, or 1998. So, going to the power of number 18 for the beautiful star sign of Taurus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. Trusted ancestors and my Taurus viewers and subscribers, what are the messages from Taurus's specific person, please? What do they want Taurus to know right now? Show me what's up. Mm. I wish things could be different. Sounds to me that they're in a sticky situation or a very complex, complicated situation. Uh, situation, possibly with a third party situation. It sounds to me that they, it, it, it's like I'm seeing quicksand. They're in a situation maybe where they can't get out of something right now and they're wishing things to be different. I do feel, Taurus, that you made an impact on this person's life. This person really let you down. They very much disappointed you. They're wanting things to be different. But it's like, how? How do I make things right? How do I make things better with Taurus? Feels to me that they're besides themselves. It's like I'm seeing the Eight of Swords in my mind's eye right now. Hmm, interesting. They may be manifesting for you, but they don't even realize that they're manifesting. I will wait for a sign from you. It's like they almost want you to reach out to them before they reach out to you to know that they have the green light. But in truth, this person needs to get the courage to come forward and express their truth. Don't go rushing or racing after them. Because you may get a different response. See, right now we're going into the Mercury retrograde and the Mercury retrograde has a way of bringing people out of the woodwork. But this person is thinking about you. They could just be waiting for a sign or a synchronicity from the universe. They could be seeing your name wherever they go. They could also be hearing a particular song on the radio. There could be a song that's on their Spotify that reminds them of you. Things like that. 
Yeah, it's like I keep seeing the green light. They want the green light, but they just, even if you were to approach them, it's like I feel like they're going to shy away from you or back off because they have to come to terms with their vocal communication in order to express themselves effectively. And they know, I feel that this person knows that they have to have some kind of solid plan of action to present to you how they're going to make things right. I am becoming a better person. So you know what? This person is reflecting on how they treated you. If they're becoming a better person, then that means that they got some karma somewhere along the way. So they went through the what goes around, comes around. Yeah, I just heard a car honk in the background. So confirmation. They got some kind of karma. Or the situation that they thought that they were moving into didn't work out or it's not working out now that because that would be a reason for them wanting things to be different so there's a longing and a yearning off of this person despite the outward appearances I wish things could be different. They want to reunite with you, Taurus. They want to see you face to face again and long to hold you again in their arms, take you out for dinner. They want to meet up with you. For some of them, this could happen in the next two days or the next two months. Or when they're going to, you know, obviously reach out. They may also feel trapped or stuck in a situation where, and I feel that this is a very small percentage, but I'm hearing it from spirit. They could be, we'll say, <clears throat> betrothed to someone else based off of religious uh, practices of certain family dynamics or ethnic culture. But that, that again, I'm seeing very small percentage. So they're wanting things to be different. They're not in love with this other person. They're in love with you. Seven of Swords. This person's worried. They want to tell you that they're worried that you're not going to believe them if they were to come forward and give you true union or come together because they know that they were so sneaky. But yet the other side of the seven of swords is that it can talk about strategy. Strategizing how they're going to make things right. They're not happy. This is what I'm picking up. I don't feel that this person entirely is happy with their situation or their choices. Yeah, they're thinking. They're reflecting. Four of Swords. Some of you guys are dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and I also got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio going on. They could have also recently went through a loss. They could have lost a loved one. This person made up a lot of excuses and not to say that the loss of a loved one is an excuse. I just, they couldn't pull their act together, Taurus. They got overwhelmed and the easy way out for them was to lie to you. Was to lie to you, but they, I think they feel deep down inside that they know that they're going to be walking a fine line with you in order to have union. And I think they are worried about your, <laughs> your Taurus wrath, the bull stampede 
I think they're a little worried about that. That's the reason why they're thinking. They're not taking real solid action right now. They're, they could be trying to manipulate certain things behind the scenes if they're dealing with a third party, trying to figure out, or they're going to be sneaky with a third party in order to come towards you to be able to express something, to express their love or their affection, and they're wanting things to be different. But right now, this person isn't bringing entirely the Ten of Cups, nor the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, or Ace of Pentacles, which is all commitment in union cards. So they're reflecting on the fact like, wow, I really treated Taurus like bullcrap. You know, no pun intended. You know, they understand now what they had. But they just don't know if they're going to be able to have this union with you. Mm -hmm. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You may be totally shocked and surprised or like a deer in headlights when this person does come forward. Even if they blocked you, they'll unblock you in order to say what they need to say. But again, in the present tense, you may not believe what could come out of their mouth. Because you've been around the block a few times. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Like I said, if, if it's a small percentage of you guys where this person is betrothed, to someone else, maybe because of spiritual belief systems, or it could be also too, they could be chained or bound to a third party situation because of money. This person technically could be married right now and you're waiting for them to get a divorce or they had to be sneaky or sneak around their wife, sneak around their, their husband. But it feels to me, a lot of them shut down they just went totally silent on you. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. They want to escape with you. You guys could have talked about going off to Italy for some of you guys. Or just taking a trip. They may reach out during the Easter holiday season, if they believe in Easter. Some of you guys were engaged to this person and they could have cheated on you before you two were supposed to go into union. I'm not so sure you want this person back, Taurus. Some of you guys do, some of you guys don't. I mean, a lot of you guys are so forgiving but how many times are you going to keep forgiving? This person really needs to bring something of substance to the table because they're just not. I feel like, again, they're besides themselves. They don't know which way is up or down, but they know that they want to see you face to face. And this is the harder battle for them. They do realize if they're wanting things to be different, wishing things were different, then they do realize what they put you through. But they second guess themselves because again, they're in some kind of deep seated reflection. They're taking a time out to think about what they did. A lot of you were dealing with somebody that had strong narcissistic personality behaviors or disorders. And a lot of you, <clears throat> a lot of you have been praying or manifesting for this person to come correct. If you honestly believe that this person is your true soulmate, Taurus, then I would highly recommend listening to a guided meditation to draw in your specific person and you got to stay consistent with it. It takes on average 90 days to retrain your thoughts after you've been through this 
massive affliction with this person in order to view them differently, in order to view them to say like, it's not just about you winning if this person comes back, because a lot of them are, because they want to see you face to face. They want to have a heart to heart conversation. But this person put you through a lot of heartache, sorrow, tears, anguish. They don't have a solid plan of action, but they know that they want to see you. Some of them were future faking. They could have been future faking about marriage and commitment and all this. Oh, yeah, baby, we're going to get married. You know, you're my man. You know, you're my woman. You know, it's like, no, I don't know. Because a lot of you didn't feel safe. A lot of you guys do not feel safe in this connection. And when I say safe, it's because for a lot of you, you guys did not have a label of what the two of you were. If it was boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend. So this person left you with a lot of questioning about where this situation was going. And there was a lot of pent up restlessness that I'm picking up on. There was just something that was very unsatisfactory. It wasn't good enough. What this person had to offer was not good enough. And yet there are sentimental things between the two of you. Like you guys were like PB and J with the crest cut off. No doubt about that. And the attraction was intense. But they didn't know whether or not they were going to step over that yellow line to be like, okay, I'm ready to dive into the deep end with you. Or they gave you the impression that they wanted to. So right now, better to have them thinking towards than to not have them think at all or to think about their actions. But they're wanting things to be different. Right now, it's just a want. But until they come forward with the heart-to-heart -heart conversation, then that in itself may start to make a difference or something that can open up a new doorway that can lead into something better between the two of you. My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at Blue Scorpion Gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.